freeze the energy prices, don't let them go up this winter and fund that predominantly from windfall tax from the oil and gas companies who are making really excessive profits and make much bigger profits than they expected. The, so it, it's, a, it's a simple political choice. Understood. But the 29 billion gets you to March. Yes. Right. So that just shows how expensive this policy is. And at that point, you run out of the windfall money. So what do you then get the money from? Yeah, in April, yeah. we will have had uh, to put in, we'll have to put in place another plan. This is a plan for um, this winter into the spring of next year. And it's absolutely vital because um, average um, households are going to pay, now paying about just under £2,000. It's going to go up to £3,500 in October, up again to £4,200 in January. That's going to be really, really tough. But and I'm just gonna... trying to work out, well, yeah, I appreciate all that, but the other plan from April... Yeah, we've got to do other things as well. well what, what things? Well, what I said uh, a year ago is that we should start insulating homes. There's about... I don't know, 19 million homes where people are paying a lot of money for their energy, but a lot of it is leaking out and we could have an insulation program in place. Now, I went to see one of these in Kirklees uh, earlier this year. It was a freezing cold day. I went in, opened the door, uh, went in, nice warm place. You've never seen people with such grins on their faces, by the way. Really warm inside, almost zero energy. But bills. that takes a long time. It does take a long okay, time. OK, and you, so we, by but, April, suddenly Labour's plan vanishes. Yeah, but I mean, j just on it takes a long time, because everybody puts this to me, you know. But we've been doing crisis management for years. The insulation programme, I said, should have started a year ago. There was a programme in place. It's fallen away in the last five years. So we can't keep saying, well, it takes too long, so we can't get started. All right. If we'd started last year, at least two million homes would now have insulation and their bills would be much, much lower. So I take the challenge, but frankly, if we just go um, sort of crisis management to crisis management, we're going to get absolutely nowhere. Understood. So you, you get this 29 billion or maybe half of that from the energy companies, BP and Shell, have yeah. you know, undoubtedly made massive profits. BP then made a loss, by the way. You'll know this in 2020. Yeah. Do you know how much their loss was in 2020? I can't remember what 18 it was. 18 billion. Yeah. So let's say they make a loss next year. And they say, right, uh, Prime Minister, we want our money back. You, you should pay for that, shouldn't you? Yeah, You've but I've got I, to cover it. All the time, the international price is so high, they're not going to be making a loss. So they've worked out what they thought they would make this year because the global price has been so high, they've made much more than they thought. It's why they themselves have said, look, we've got more money than we know what to do with. Yeah, but they made a loss two years ago. But sure. you're not doing anything about that. Well, don't you have to cover it? No, because... At the moment, they're making excessive profits, and it's because the prices are so high, the energy prices are so high. So at the moment, the right thing to do is to say, uh, we need to take a windfall tax on those unexpected profits. I mean, what's happening at the moment is people are... I mean, I, they, I think they're worried sick about what's going That's to happen. That's true, for sure. it's a huge amount of money. So you've got households paying out massive energy bills. And these aren't small rises. At the same time, you've got oil and gas companies making huge profits. So, look, we either do nothing about it, um, or we do something about it. And the Labour Party, under my leadership, is not going to walk past this and leave people struggling this winter. I am